Okay, we are going to talk a little bit about how to add uh, training stress score scores if, say, we didn't have a power meter on a particular ride. So the training stress score is important to know if you're going to use this performance management chart. Uh, it, you want to properly calculate your, uh, <clears throat> your acute training load and your chronic training load. And that's not what this video is about, but what this video is about is putting in your TSS if you don't have a power meter for a particular ride. So there are two different ways we can do it. One is, let's go to our calendar, and we'll look at a ride that I do not have a training stress score for. Right? I don't have a training stress score for this ride last Saturday on February 4th. Why don't I have a training stress score? Because this was a ride that I did with my wife on the tandem. Right? The tandem does not have a power meter on it, so uh, you know, even if it did, we'd be looking at the power for the two of us, not just me. So what we can do here is if we want to put a training stress score in here so that our performance management chart is accurate, we can get a guesstimated TSS score based on one of our previous previous rides. Right? So here I've already uploaded a Garmin file here. It has my total time for the ride. This is actually a pretty similar ride to the ride I did the day before, right? Right around you know, a little over two hours. The training stress score the day before was 82.8. Again, that is not a hard ride at all. That's a very, very mellow ride. Uh, less than 100 TSS for a two, two hour and 20 minute ride. We're pretty close here, right? So what we want to do, if we want to set a training stress score here, we just go to override values and we can st set our own training stress score. I'm just going to set it to 83, pretty close to, uh, to what it was the day before. Again, a pretty mellow ride. So if you don't know the training stress score for a ride because you don't have the power meter, take a very similar ride. Take a similar ride, look at what the training stress score was then. You're going to go to override values and put in the new TSS. And there you go. And as I said, 83 is awfully low for a ride that's a little over two hours long. You can see I got 84 in a little under, under an hour the very next day that was in a uh, criterium that I did. So that's how you do that. If you haven't already uploaded a Garmin file or similar file uh, from your computer, from your bicycle computer to your PC and into WKO, you need to add the workout. So there you go to File, Manual Workout Entry, Manual Workout Entry, right? You put in your sport, cycling, I'm assuming. Let's say you did a two hour ride, that's 120 minutes, right? Distance, I don't really measure different distance that much, but let's say it's 37 miles. Distance is not nearly as important as the total time and the TSS, right? So again, if I did a similar uh, two-hour uh, ride and I had a TSS of 120, then I know that the TSS for this ride is going to be pretty much the same. Okay, so then manual entry, you know, road to Santee and back today. Put in your uh, put in your notes here. And that is it, right? So we just save that. We want to make sure we have the correct day here. Up here in this left-hand corner, if we actually did this ride yesterday, we're going to want to change this date to whatever day we did the ride. Right now, I'll just leave it on today. That's good enough. And then we save the workout, and that is it. And even though these are a guesstimate, you can actually get them surprisingly close. You can get them surprisingly close to what they should be. If one way to make yourself better at uh, entering these TSS, the TSS when you don't have the power meter is before you even download your ride into onto the computer, uh, guess what your training stress score would be. And after a while, you get a pretty good estimate of what it's going to be. Again, that training stress score is really important. It's important if you're going to use the performance management chart. When I look at my training and the training of other people, more important than uh, duration or distance or any of those things is going to be the total training stress score per month. That really is uh, an indication of total training stimulus, so you want to get that right. Otherwise, you're not getting the most out of your power meter. If you have any questions, you can uh, go to my website, crankcycling.com, and shoot me a message from there, and I'll get back with you.